Nottingham, it's a city known for really old pubs, booting students, and of course everyone's favourite cartoon fox, Robin Hood. The history of Nottingham doesn't stop at the myths and legends. The city has been an inspiration for literature, with famous writers like Byron and D.H. Lawrence talking about its influence. Under the busy surface, you can find inspired writers in a lively community, still living in Nottingham. Down an alley next to Primark in Market Square, you will find the Five Leaves Bookshop, the bookshop by the bookies, a face for Nottingham's independence. Chapter 1 Why are independent bookshops declining? What's happening to independent bookshops? Figures recorded in February 2014 show that for the first time, British independent bookshops were below 1,000. The Five Leaves Bookshop was the first independent bookshop to open in Nottingham in the 21st century after the Radical Mushroom Bookshop closed in the year 2000. Not to mention, the new ebooks and the Kindle gave new competition to books everywhere. In just one decade, UK bookshops dropped under 1,000. So how is Five Leaves still around? To see how they've managed to survive alongside big chain bookstores, let's see how the bookshop by the bookies got started. Chapter 2 What is Five Leaves Bookshop? Five Leaves opened in November 2013, bringing something original to Nottingham's community. What you'll find here is fresh alternative views and ideas that can't go unnoticed. The brains behind the operation is Ross Bradshaw. All the way from Scotland, he came and set up Five Leaves Publications in 1996, promoting autonomous publishing for writers from the East Midlands and beyond. Five Leaves are still publishing today, but the bookshop is now their main activity. Everybody's saying independent bookshops are closing all over the country, and I thought, what, what better time to, to open a bookshop? The bookshop has a variety of interest sections. Where else are you going to find sections on psychotherapy, LGBT, Marxism, Jewish interest, poetry, spirituality and politics, all in one place. Obviously we do get people who come in, walk around, see that we stock books on transgender, for example, look at that, stare in amazement and walk out looking at their feet. Well, nothing we can do about that. Chapter 3. How is Five Leaves surviving over other bookshops? The statistics don't look good saying that interests and independent bookshops are fading. After its first year of business, Five Leaves shows no signs of slowing down. Amazon exists, uh, ebooks exist, um, there is only one book chain now, there are no other independents in Nottingham. There's no major changes happening in the trade. And a lot of the independents that are surviving are thriving. Customers have described it as a radical bookshop. Radical in the sense that they want to change the world for the better. What does radical mean? It can mean lots of things to lots of people. We're pretty general in our view, so we will stock anarchist books, we will stock left labour books, we will stock uh, green books, and we have a, I like to think, a good relationship to our customers. And if they want, if they want us to change, then um, I'm pretty damn sure that they'll tell us. The events regularly sell out, giving the community the chance to discuss issues they might not have a chance to elsewhere. Ross through sort of writing circles and people that I know. Um, so I thought it, it was really it was brilliant when they, they decided they were going to open an independent bookshop in Nottingham. Five Leaves organised the political Bread and Roses weekend with Nottingham's People Assembly, where they were getting involved both in and outside of the shop floor with some of the UK's most exciting writers, speakers and artists came up with Bread and Roses, which nice title, and 850 people, 850 people came along to our first one and we we're already planning our second one. Five Leaves supports the living wage for their employees, a belief that no bookshop worker should earn less per hour than the cost of a standard paperback novel. Um, it's the best job I've ever had and I guess it's a combination of factors. Yeah, the staff, um, the environment, the events, yeah, it's brilliant here. Chapter 4. What is the future for independent bookshops? The fact independent bookshops are closing could suggest that they aren't as relevant as they were before. But Five Leaves has shown that there's still a community of people who love having actual books that deal in the alternative and niches. We've always had that connection. Nottingham, to me, is writing, it is literature. 
think there will still be closures and I think a lot of that is not necessarily to do with the book trade. I think that's to do with city centre rents. It's too soon to tell whether the market is growing for five leaves but it's clear they keep coming back for the loyal service. I just hope it goes on or there is some form of independent bookshop in Nottingham because I think, I think we need that as a city. There will always be competition and struggles but Five Leaves is ready to face it.